Thomas Markle actually comes to defense of famous daughter. Thomas Markle has said many things about his daughter over the past several months. If you're an avid celebrity gossip follower and or a fan of the royal family, you're likely aware that Thomas has slammed Meghan Markle as a phony and as a spoiled brat and as an ungrateful child and as a total and complete ghost who has abandoned the man who helped bring her into the world. But now Thomas has surprised many folks out there by referring to Meghan as something else entirely, a victim. It's true, the rumored feud between Markle and her fellow duchess, Kate Middleton, has reached such an epic level of publicity that even Thomas thinks the coverage has been unfair to his child. In a recent interview with The Sun, the Markle patriarch weighed in on the never-ending chatter of a rift between Meghan and Middleton, along with incessant talk of Meghan as a difficult boss. Indeed, numerous royal staffers have resigned of late, with reports indicating that Markle's attitude is to blame. If there is any animosity between Meghan and Kate, they should put their differences aside, Thomas told Sunday, he added. I'm very upset by the criticism Meghan is getting. I don't think she deserves it and I don't think she is doing one-third of the things she is being accused of doing. Thomas, of course, is the one who has offered up one scathing critique after another of Meghan. He's alleged on many occasions that he keeps trying to reach out to his daughter, but that she's rebuffed these efforts ever since he chose not to attend the royal wedding in May. Thomas made this decision due to heart problems, and also due to his role in a paparazzi photo scandal. In November, however, The Sun wrote that Meghan left Kate in tears over her demands for Princess Charlotte's bridesmaid dress after a stressful fitting. And Thomas simply thinks this claim is BS. I'm not buying that she made Kate cry, Thomas told the newspaper in the new interview, expounding as follows. First off, I think Kate is a stronger woman than that. I think Kate also knows she is in a stronger power position than Meghan is. Kate's the hero mother. I can see her being that weak. No woman is who pops out a kid and walks out of hospital the same day. I don't think she's afraid of anyone. Kensington Palace rarely comments on rumors regarding the royal family but a spokesperson did actually come out a few weeks ago and shot down this specific allegation. No matter the beef he personally has with Meghan, Thomas agrees that the Duchess of Sussex is getting a raw deal here. I don't believe that Meghan is trying to hurt her in any shape or form, Thomas said to the Sunday, but at the moment I cannot call Meghan and say, what is going on? How can I help you? I need to know what the hell is happening and why it is happening. I need to know why she is being bashed every day. Meghan would probably like an answer to this question as well. All this said, Thomas is still angry that Meghan won't talk to him. But he saved his harshest evaluation for her husband. He and Prince Harry reportedly got into an argument over the phone just under a year ago, after reports came out that Thomas sold photos to the press. It ended with Thomas hanging up on Harry. I feel that he feels he is above everyone else and that he has a right to talk down to people. Thomas told Sunday. And I cannot accept that. It feels like arrogance. He concluded by saying there's one simple way to get him to shut up. If they ever want to speak to me, maybe I'll quiet him down a little bit. But in the meantime I'm not going to become a monk in a monastery and take a vow of silence. The bottom line is that I've done nothing to deserve this kind of treatment. The Royals and Meghan can help end this nightmare by simply giving me a call. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and